Hey guys, what's up? It's the Third Night here, and welcome to episode 5 of my PVM Pro series. This week I managed to go to QBD, and um, so that was kind of cool. I've never been to Queen Black Dragon before. Uh, you'll probably see, see me on screen absolutely failing um, at life at trying to kill the Queen Black Dragon. I think I probably died, um, I think it was probably about maybe 4 or 5 times before I actually managed to um, successfully kill it. Um, I also managed to brandish my royal um, crossbow. Uh, I think on the fourth, uh, my fourth attempt, and I died shortly after doing that. Um, yeah, I really should have, like, pretty much how I prepared for it was, I saw, like, I just, like, watched 30 seconds of one YouTube video, I'm like, alright, okay, so you have to press the buttons, um, you gotta dodge the, uh, the fire, the fire waves, as you can see me dodging on screen, um, like a ninja right now, um, and yeah, you just gotta make sure you press the buttons uh, after you've, um, uh, taken, like, I don't know, I guess, finish one of the waves um, against the QBD and um, yeah then you should pretty much be fine um, and you'll see me on screen getting absolutely um, gamed here and uh, yeah so I, I didn't really have much knowledge on actually how to properly defeat the Queen Black Dragon which I really should have checked up on um, prior to that um, but I, what I basically ended up doing was I just filled up my yak completely with rock tails and I just went in there and um, just tanked everything just stood there kept eating um, and occasionally got a hit on the Queen Black Dragon and I managed to kill her like that. So I was happy about that but it was like a really pathetic kill. Um, so I can sort of say now that I can tick uh, the Queen Black Dragon off the list um, except I will definitely be um, revisiting her before the end of this video series because um, that was a fairly pathetic kill and I mean I just tanked it all on Rock Tails. Um, but the main point of me going to the uh, Queen Black Dragon was to actually brandish that um, Royal Crossbow because uh, it's, it's really interesting but um, the Royal Crossbow is actually like an awesome crossbow uh, there's like it's it's actually in um, a lot of ways it's actually better than a Zarite um, bow and like I did a fair bit of research and stuff because I was sort of like trying to toss up you know because um, I wanted to go Armadale God Wars dungeon and I was trying to toss up you know what would be the best um, like setup for Armadale God Wars dungeon you know you can have a dual wield um, chaotic crossbow, you can have a single chaotic crossbow with like a, a, a some sort of a shield, you could have a Zarite bow, um, or you could have the royal crossbow, and obviously I bought the royal crossbow last week, and I was sort of still trying to decide whether I should have really bought that, um, but basically, uh, one of the, like, one of the best setups is, like, having the royal crossbow, because it, it, um, has a bit over 1800 damage bonus when used with royal bolts, and so for those of you who don't know, Royal Bolts have the same stats as Onyx Bolts in the Evolution of Combat, which is really crazy because Royal Bolts are like um, less than 200 GP now, I think. Um, that's mainly because of the bots, I think, but um, it also has like a, it doesn't have as near a higher arc value as the Onyx Bolts. Um, it'd be really nice if the Onyx Bolts did, didn't have a high arc value <laughs> because then they would have crashed like massively um, because no one would use them, obviously, until, you know, they're at a more reasonable price. Because they um, give you 25% of your um, health back or something. I, they have some special effect, which is really nice. But anyway, so the main thing was I wanted to have the Royal Crossbow for Armadale God Wars Dungeon. Managed to actually brandish that in front of the um, Queen Black Dragon, so that was good. Managed to also kill the Queen Black Dragon, so that was also good. Um, but yeah, what I basically ended up um, using was the Royal Crossbow. Um, and then also a Chaotic Crossbow and a Blessed Spirit Shield Switch at um, uh, Armadale. That way I could... If I needed to use the rejuvenate um, ability, then I could use that, and I could heal myself up nice and easily at Armadale without having to worry about losing too much health. So that was kind of cool. Um, but yeah, so I did end up going on two trips to Armadale. Um, that was with a friend. So that was the first time since the evolution of combat, um, and you know it was it was pretty good. I mean, I had, um, had seen like someone wrote a comment, and you know there's been a few other people like talking to me and stuff, and they were saying that Armadale was fairly difficult and stuff, but I think it's just like any other of the God Wars dungeon bosses at the moment. If you have the right setup, you can camp there for like pretty much as long as you want. Um, uh, yeah, so I thought it was like fairly easy, that was really good. Um, I, I haven't tried soloing it yet, but I will definitely be doing that um, when I come around to making that Armadale uh, God Wars dungeon guide. Also, if you were just wondering about the Saradome in God Wars dungeon guide, I'm sorry I don't have it out today, um, but yeah, it does take a while and I'd prefer to spend more time on it than, you know, rush it and then upload it as quickly as I can. Um, but yeah, so we went to Armadale and we managed to pick up a few drops. So it was it was okay. Um, it was only a few splits though, and those were, were 
um, an Armadale buckler and the Armadale gloves. Uh, so it was pretty much a total of four mil uh, worth of splits from those two. And then there was a few God Sword Shard splits. Um, also managed to get an uncut Dragonstone. So, you know, there was there was a little bit of luck there. You know, it takes a bit of luck to get one of those. Um, but yeah, to be honest, there wasn't much luck with me um, while we were at um, Armadale. We, we, ended, we ended up spending, I think, like over two hours on one of our trips. And um, we only managed to get the Armadale Gloves split, which was a bit disappointing, but oh well. At least we got a few splits, even if they were the lost value um, items <laughs> dropped by Kriara. Um, but that also means that Kriara can be ticked off the list of bosses. Um, and yeah. So in terms of cash made um, from like doing player versus monster stuff towards, you know, all the Bible items in the armory this week, it wasn't actually great. I only managed to get really around probably around four or five mil for all of that and you know that can't really I mean it can it might be out at like, well, it'll, it'll, like I've got the Armadale chest plate I've got the Armadale uh, legs left to buy um, so those are more expensive than the amount of money I got so I didn't think there was much point in um, trying to like do anything with that like I obviously couldn't buy any of the items on the armory that's what I'm trying to say um, so hopefully that's a bit more successful next week um, but at the same time, it was just a bit unlucky, and, you know, I only went on a few bossing trips. Now, you might be wondering, you know, that's kind of crap, why are you making this episode? You didn't get any of that stuff. Well, to make up for that, I did a bit of Dungeoneering um, during and after the double Dungeoneering XP and Tokens weekend. Um, so I managed to rack up a nice amount of tokens, um, which I will go into right now. Hey guys, so I've just logged in, and I noticed I've got my um, uh, chip, my player import stuff to do. Um, but also, I have a nice stack of 512k tokens right there. I think that's the most tokens I've ever had before, to be honest, because I just like spending them as soon as I get them. Um, but uh, for this episode, I would like to get the Eagle Eye Kite Shield. Um, you might have seen me using the uh, Blessed Spirit Shield. Um, I want that, yeah. You might have seen me using the Blessed Spirit Shield um, against Armadale. That was just a temporary fix. Um, so. I, I definitely want this eagle eye kite shield, that's going to be nice to use. Um, and the other thing I wanted to get was a um, chaotic mole, um, because I've heard that's pretty good and obviously that's also on the list. And that's really cool because that'll just mean um, after I've gotten this, I'll just buy it now. It's all good. Oh, yay, chaotic mole, that's cool. Um, but yeah, now I just have the chaotic longsword to get. Um, and then the offhand, um, all the offhands, I think. I think that's it. Yeah, that should be it. So that's 200k, um, what, 300k, 500k tokens to go. So I need 400k more tokens. Um, I might also, sorry, <laughs> I just started a bit there. I might also um, get the, uh, what was it, the anti-poison totem. Um, I might do that and I might also get the, um, I think there's like another necklace that you can get. Oh, here it is. The demon horn necklace. I might get that like after I've done maybe the series. I might add them on to the list eventually. Um, they're just sort of like a few things that might be come in handy one day, so I might as well get them. Um, but after that, I'll be putting all my tokens towards um, uh, my rings in the actual dungeons and trying to max them out as much as possible. And then I'll just be saving all the rest of the tokens for um, uh, any other potential new chaotic that Jagex might decide to bring out, as well as just repairing my stuff. Um, but yeah, that's that's it. That's kind of cool. Got my eagle eye kite shield. Got my chaotic mole. That's kind of cool. I haven't had a Chaotic Mole in a while. Um, for those of you who don't, who wanted to know about my previous Chaotic and why I don't have all my Chaotic at level 108 Dungeoneering, um, well, I was really stupid and I thought that, you know, I might go quit and at the same time I might just go and die with all of my Chaotic um, in the wilderness because, you know, that would help me quit. Um, you know, come back a week later. Where do I... Oh, fuck. Yeah, so I, I really regret doing that. Um, but, you know, uh, that happens. Um, I'm not def I'm definitely not doing that again and uh, I'm definitely not going to be quitting um, for a long time I don't know I'm just really enjoying everything at the moment so don't have to worry about that um, but yeah so that's kind of cool so just those other chaotic to get and then I think I just need the Armadale chest plate and the Armadale um, plate skirt and then I've finished and then I've got everything for this series so that's really nice um, it's felt like it's been pretty quick I mean it's only I'm only up to the fifth episode I don't know I might be able to get everything by next week um, or probably, probably like the week after that, maybe because you know the dungeoneering might take a while. Um, oh yeah, and that's right. I need to get my Tokar Cull. Um, that's gonna be interesting because I went there once before the beta. Uh, sorry, the evolution of combat, and um, yeah, I 
I didn't, well, I did pretty well. I just got killed by all the deals. Um, but it's going to be interesting with Evolution of Combat. Actually, here it's easier. Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling on now. Um, I think that's it for this video. Um, thanks very much for watching. Uh, definitely making some nice progress towards this. I will be doing a lot more Dungeoneering and stuff. Because, I, you know, Dungeoneering is fun. I can do it with people in the friends chat and stuff. Um, and, yeah. I don't know. I might test live. When I test my live streaming sometime, I might either do that with, like, penguins. Um, or I might like do dungeoneering or something. Maybe dungeoneering will be a bit hard because I'll be like trying to see if the live stream is good. Um, anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Sorry it's a bit short. I'll um, try and do a few more bossing trips next week. Um, but yeah, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next video.